We're starting with man of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Well, Nigerians have continued to react to Pastor Adeboye's advice to his dear son on social media. The general overseer of RCCG, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, has created quite a buzz on social media after his recent revelation. Pastor Adeboye shared that he once told his son to fire his secretary. According to him, his son said his secretary excited him and he usually looked forward to going to work on Mondays just to see her. Adeboye advised that he, sack, he should sack her to save his marriage. Well, Nigerians have taken to social media to react to these with many of them bashing the man of God. According to some people, the innocent woman, that's the secretary, lost her job due to his son's loss, and she might even be the breadwinner of her family. Others, however, were of the opinion that there are, there are lessons in his message and that the wise should listen and learn. Well, on social media, everybody's using the hashtag, hashtag crush the crush. Pastor Dolly, 20 <laughs> seconds, let's go. You know, uh, before, before we, we, we can even be able to say something about this, we must look at the person that is talking. Who is this man? Mm -hmm. This is a man of God. What mm -hmm. does this man believe? He believes the Bible. Mm -hmm. And is he talking from the Bible point of view? Okay. That is what we must go. He will not be there to want to please anybody. He mm -hmm. wants to please God. And he also wants to save his own son from mm -hmm. falling into trouble. I believe so many of us, so many people who are bashing at him, if they were in his own shoes, they may not have done anything different from the way he did it anyway. Mm -hmm. The only thing that probably would have been different is that because of his influence as a person, mm -hmm. he would be able to get the girl a job somewhere else okay. instead of throwing her out like that. Mm -hmm. And now coming back to his reason for giving the son such a counsel, mm -hmm. the, the Bible says we should flee all appearance of evil. The Bible also says that marriage should be honored. Mm -hmm. Because if he's saying that to save his marriage, then the marriage was already endangered by that relationship. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was even, how did he go to the father to confess that to the father? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's even his wife that went to report him to the father. Now, first of all, let me quickly oh, no. butt in. Sorry, let me quickly mm -hmm. butt in now. Um, we, we are reacting to this story from a, a one-sided narrative. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know, on the other hand, if the secretary also shares the same kind of, uh, you know, emotions of affection for his son. But from the story, the, the man has, like, a crush on the secretary. Mm -hmm. Not everybody you crush on crushes back at you, you know what I mean. So uh, let's take it from that context. That is a one-sided narrative. Even as we're taking mm -hmm. it from that that says angle, mm -hmm. like I said earlier, I think he was doing it to save his own son. Yes, the son was lost. In. Let us take it that way. Was lost in after a woman who doesn't really care. Let us take it supposedly. Okay. Supposedly okay. doesn't mm -hmm. care. Okay. But that doesn't stop him from saving his own son <laughs> from getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. Because he can even go to a, 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 a nest whereby he can even go and rape her if if we are saying that okay she wasn't. Let's say maybe sexually harassed. Sexually maybe harassed. Maybe not outrightly raped. So okay. he doesn't want the son to be found <laughs> in such a case. Okay. So that is why he felt okay the best thing that can happen is to So for you that son. advice is in order. For me it's in order because mm -hmm. He wouldn't have told the son to abandon his office. It's his own office. He mm -hmm. employed her. He wouldn't have told him to abandon his own office because of the girl. The, the best issue that would still have been the girl finding somewhere else. But the only thing that they bought have there is that they could have helped. But because he didn't come out to say they helped, they, maybe they even helped. Maybe they did, but nobody maybe knows. Maybe nobody knows. Okay. So we are just talking based on uh, the how far the story goes. Say, yes. There's no way. Maybe he was preaching when he said he would sit down and tell them the full the story. The entire story. The entire okay. story. And right. I think he said that, he probably said that to teach some people a lesson. Because these days we have so many issues out there, especially with pastors. Pastors who are once are destroyed because of their sectaries, because of their assistant pastors' wives. Mm. We have seen cases of pastors who divorce their wives because of their own assistant pastors' wives. And a lot of these things, I believe if this separation thing is done, 
He could have saved a lot. And I'm I know what I'm talking about when I say some assistant pastor's wife. Okay. Do you understand? So All I right. Be, yes. I okay, Pastor Dolly. He's talking L from a Let me hear from Mrs. Olishola this time oh. around. All right. So what do you think? All right. Uh, believe, I believe that every other person is entitled to his own opinion. Mm. But in a standard uh, company organization, there's always a legal and uh, operational policy that ought to be put in place in okay. consideration before firing the staff. Mm -hmm. And generally, as a human being, a human being should be excited, it should be exciting, and it should be excitable. When you employ a staff that makes you feel excited, when you talk about um, um, what uh, seduction, you have you can't have a specific definition for seduction okay let me just uh, let me cut in here at this point uh, just hold your line of thought we'll come back uh quickly let's go take a commercial break we'll be right back all right good to have you join us again while that commercial uh break was ongoing pastor Ayo ayola actually made it to the show uh he is also a minister of god you know uh, we're talking about a big pastor today so uh we need a lot of people you know from the body of christ <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, heaven is also my goal, so I have to be careful. Anyways, Pastor Ayala you is here. He's a minister of God. He's a data analyst and he's also a, a counselor. Welcome, Pastor Ayala to the yes, table. Thank you. Good to yes. see you again. Good to see you too, sir. Happy New Year. The yeah. first time I'm seeing you this year. <laughs> Welcome to the program. All right, so before you got here, we're talking about... Uh, Pastor Adeboye's advice to his son to fire his secretary because uh, he was beginning to get very excited, you know, at seeing the lady. Anyways, uh, before we took that break, Miss Olushola was having her say. So please, let's continue. Okay, as I was saying, I thought that every woman being should be able to make one feel excited, feel exciting, and be excitable. If the employer in question is feeling uncomfortable and safe, by the appearance of the lady depends on your mindset mm -hmm. because pastor is sitting by my side she is sitting by my side depends on what makes you feel lost your mindset matters a lot and for whatever reason i don't think it's right for the young lady to be sat because the pastor's son have little or perhaps have no control over his emotion. Okay. The gear can actually be transferred to other departments. Another department. Yes. I yes. thought exactly. Okay. What if it's just like, uh, you know, you have this very um, compact kind of offices where, you know, uh, there are really not much departments, you know, it's just a small office. So in, in that regard, what happens? Where do you take her to? Well, of course. The, just like as if it's a compact office mm -hmm. where you have no place to send somewhere else. Yeah. The bone of contention is that you have no control over, over your, your emotion. emotions. Because okay. sparking the person, mm -hmm. let's assume that this person is not working with you, but you have the avenue where you interact with other lady of her type outside their office. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? Exactly. So you should be, you should have control over your emotion. That should be the. The right thing. So this is a no-no for you. Yeah. All right, Pastor Ayola, what do you say? Okay, um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I know this discussion has been on there. You know. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, let me start with it. Uh, we were talking about God. We don't understand. We need. We don't understand God's things by logic. Okay. Okay. Uh, God is a spirit, and we have to understand godliness in the way of the spirit. All right, uh, the word excitement is not really what really happened in that context. Because at least I had, I had an understanding of that story. Okay. You know, you know uh, lust is very dangerous. And lust produces sin. Mm. So the moment uh, you are lusting after something, it, it's just like, not even about uh, sin, it's not about sin, uh, you know. It's like, it's already lusting after this lady and he's already affecting something back home you know he's married he's the married back okay. home and the children back home okay perhaps there are other things that might have come up after that maybe the secretary always get food for for, for him to eat mm. he couldn't want he wouldn't want to eat at home any longer mm -hmm. and so he went to his father to share this issue 
you know, most of the battles we face in life start from the mind, yes. mindset. Yes. Like she said, like, you know, and she's like, this is what I'm facing, and I know what is leading me to. The Bible says that anything that is appearing to be an evil at all, you, you flee. flee. Mm -hmm. You know, so it could be in two contexts. I, I want to believe that if it were to be maybe colleagues, the Baba would have told him, uh, resign from that place. Do you understand? But in this context, I think it's like a close office whereby he's my secretary. She works directly with Directly, me. yes. She does everything for me. Yes. And everything, you know. He can't avoid exactly. seeing her. He, okay. He could even resort to raping her or mm. something. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Lost can get to anything. I said, boy, okay, if you don't want to destroy yourself, destroy your home, the best thing is to just sack. And of course, let's look at it. I wouldn't think that you would just sack the lady and just do that. Like that. Like that. Without any, Without any form of compensation. Or, exactly. okay. or talking to her and say, Sister, please, I, I, I need to let you know I'm lusting after you and it's wrong. You need to just you need to give herself space. So, sacking the world, leaving her, does not mean that she has even done evil for the lady. She has even left the lady. But some so many things would have happened afterwards. Wow. So, yeah, so many things would have happened afterwards. You would mm. have break her. We would have done so many things for this lady and messed up her life. So, Can I play the devil's advocate for a bit? Okay. Let us assume this man, the pastor's son, is the only one who has this feelings. Uh, it's very possible for a man to be lost in after a woman who doesn't even care about you. You know what I mean? Like, so doesn't even care whether, you know, like she's not interested. How about if it's so in this context, the lady, the secretary doesn't have any feelings for the man. In Sena Climbs, it is a grounds for her to actually sue her employer. Don't you think so? Yeah. If you dismiss me because of your feelings that yes. I don't feel. Do you, know that, do you think that is fair? Do you know that we, we heard about this story from the top part? It's not from the man himself. Mm -hmm. You would have just sacked that. He, he may not even tell her the reason why I'm sacking you. There were many reasons why you sacked. It's just like, I want to resign. I'm resigning from this organization. Why do you want to resign? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think I'm going to work in here again. Okay. It's confidential, confidential to me. You can't do anything more than that. I came to apply for the job, and I said I want to resign from the job. Mm -hmm. But there's only a notice before you resign. You mm -hmm. cannot just wake up with a notice. Of course, it's sad to pull up. But there's only a notice. Yeah. notice yeah? Yeah, All right, Ms. Olusola, you are a human rights defender. <laughs> if a young woman comes to your office with this kind of complaint, I'll say, see, my employer sacked me for no... Um, uh, <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> no reason. Well, yeah. I'm trying to look for a better word to say, even if there's a reason, it is not official. Do you get what I mean? It's not because I'm incompetent at my job, but for personal reasons. How, how would you defend such a person? Yeah, there's always a, a cover-up of this kind of scenario, just like what he says. And just like I said, there's always a legal and operational policy that guides an organization or company that is under operation. Okay. If such happens, of course, you just have to invite either the resources manager mm. or the employer mm -hmm. to hear from both sides. Mm -hmm. And there is always, I don't think nobody will walk up to you and say, yes, I sacked this lady because I am not feeling comfortable with her. Mm -hmm. there's, there's always an official mm. reasons mm. attached to it. Okay. Either they may feel okay, we are retrenching mm -hmm. because we are running out. But they cook up something. Or what? Yes. They cook up something. So okay. long have come. Okay. Yeah. All right. You, you want to so say something? I, I wanted to also say that to that. There are other. If if we don't, I believe probably the girl has said probably she's a Christian. Mm -hmm. That's why they may have to tell her the reason why they are firing her. That is this type of a thing. Otherwise, they could just cook up any other reason. I mean, we're just saying it from our own perspective. Yes. Nobody knows how deep but, but actually, the discussion but went actually, or how she was sent out. In the context of the, the great discussion, mm -hmm. I think it's like... They might understand. They already, they were, there was I something so already. Oh, okay. So that's, I think that's what I'm saying. That's what I said when I was talking. But if uh. you use the word to save his marriage, mm. it means it was already... The marriage was already endangered. Marriage, yeah. okay. And there's no father. Like, I think I've said this on this platform before, mm -hmm. that if my own brother, if I catch my brother who is married, dating a girl outside. Mm. I'm going to fight my brother mm. to make sure that relationship stop. Mm. I am not doing it to help my brother's wife. I'm not doing it because of the love I have for my brother's wife. I am doing it to help my brother. Mm. 
to stop my brother from getting into trouble because mm. definitely a married man that goes out with another woman will mm. lead to trouble mm. and with these days we are seeing a lot of trouble that is bringing to home mm. we are seeing men killing their wives wives killing husbands mm -hmm. all because of extramarital affairs okay. so okay. If, if there's anything we can do to stop, to stop our own relation our own children our own relation from getting into, into that trouble we have to do it okay all right someone is reacting here and says is prayer not working again why didn't he pray for his son to look for work somewhere else anyways like i said on social media a lot of social media users are sympathetic towards the young lady and they are saying what if she is the breadwinner of her family you know but i'm hoping you know um knowing the antecedent of the person in the middle of this story i am hoping that she got some sort of compensation or maybe got a job somewhere else that is safer. Be a modality okay. for